that mean that you were both desperate? He looked like he was comfortable with how he was living. But me, if I he could get money chilly. just to fix <laughs> yeah. the ceiling yeah. and fix the tiles, eh? yeah. for me, it was enough. Yeah. But for him, he felt like it looked like he was kawaba and be like. Welcome back to the Mob Jazz Podcast. It's your boy, Magic. I'm Melvin. Um, Miss I never been to. Let's go. She introduced herself. Fire. I'm so happy to be back on the podcast, <laughs> you guys. Back, I missed man. you guys. <laughs> You're doing Good well. To be back. Yeah. You're one of our most requested returns. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very highly. You took requested. so long, though. It took you so long. Listen, man. waiting for the right time. Okay. Yeah. And this is the right time. 2023. Mm-hmm. Right. So yeah, who else do we have here? The voice. The voice. The voice. That's that what is they the call voice. Me. Don't dare I say they call name. you Chano. What did you say? That's going to throw people farther off, bro. <laughs> Chano. <laughs> it won't it help at all, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah. Have I lied? Uh, okay. no, that's, that's the voice. The voice of the people. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, how are you guys feeling? What's up? What's up? Feeling. How's your weekend? Feeling tired. What um... Happened? I was out yesterday on a Sunday. That is just it's ungodly behavior, you guys. And you done with a nine to five. Literally, man. Being out on a Sunday. For even as early as I left it. Yeah. It was too much, man. I What's early to you? I mean, I left at eleven. Mm, would your mom be proud of started. you? She was still up when I got home. Okay. The party hadn't even started at eleven. Bruh. So yeah, bro, I don't understand why I woke up with such a banging headache this morning. Because you're hanging out with Raymond. <laughs> Yeah, the well, tequila shots, though. I don't know, man. Raymond is not even that guy. He's really like the responsible one, right? Mm. Anyways, yeah, man. It was a lot. It was a long weekend. Yeah. I think we drank almost every day of the weekend. Mm-hmm. So, it was heavy. Bro, was heavy. for the first time in a long time, I can say I'm actually recovering mm. from the weekend. That's rare yeah, for see you, yeah, there's sweet, sweet thing. Yeah, sweet. 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 <laughs> <laughs> sweet. 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 We find it's packed depending on like the night. Do you think Ugandans are like literally drinking their problems away, like our general problems, like with the government and all that? Do you think that's like our coping mechanism? Because everyone looks at us, so we're like number one, mm-hmm. the number one drunkards in the world. And remember how small Uganda is. So imagine Uganda compared to Nigeria, we're still. <laughs> literally, bro. Our drink culture is a mess here, man. Nah, but yeah. I kind of agree with you, man. I think people are definitely... It's, there's some escapism to it. Yeah. Like, I think people are literally drinking out their problems. Especially the youth. Yeah, they have nothing so to do. The youth. They have no jobs. But how well do they get the money? Now, that's the real question, actually. Where do you guys get this money to pop? Yeah, every no, day, platinum, platinum guys are giving out cards, bro. <laughs> every day in traffic, no, platinum okay. guys are giving First out cards. No, okay. These guys who go spend a million in the bar, uh. there's alcohol for like one bob, two bob. But not in the bar. The bars are always full. <laughs> the bars are literally always Monday full. Monday to Monday. Monday to Monday, bro. It's definitely a coping mechanism. Guys don't want to go home, man. They're probably bro, how are home. you feeling, man? Me? Mm. I'm actually okay right now. Um, the weekend was a bit heavy. Um, but just I recovered. Now today I'm back, back in action. Feeling good. Uh, yesterday was Raymond's hosting at the Kampala, Kampala branch. branch. That was sick. I was only there for like a whole two minutes. Mm. That was super hot, man. Mm. If you missed, you missed. That's some, <laughs> have some light heat, but maybe I shouldn't get it off now. Hey. Yeah, I'll get yeah, it off. Yeah, tell us, tell us. Yeah. I'll get it off later. I'll get oh it off. Babe, no. The people want to know. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what happened to that place but they need to try a bit harder man in what this way? is not even shade on the kampala branch it's just shade on the Lateral. owners of the space yeah th- of that place yeah um bro i don't know why it, it just for the price that we're paying for drinks and stuff mm-hmm. there that place should look nice bro the tables look like they were ashed on like Literally, for centuries everything looks dead. the chairs were rusted beyond <laughs> you could get tested us just by sitting <laughs> literally man they were so uncomfortable and the prices are so high oh i wanted to talk about this guys people we go to your bars to spend money or at least we get people to come and spend money on us at your bars mm. but you serve us fake alcohol mm. Like, of recent, I was at Illusion. Mm-hmm. 
And the person that I was with, you know, my sponsor, you know, you can't go to it because, like, who's going to illusion to blow money? You have to go and blow someone else's money. But, like, the guy spent his money Bambi buying a Hennessy. How much is Hennessy at Illusion? Then like 500 bucks well, or like 300. Like Bruh, 600. Yeah, this These guys served us. Oh, had they put in water? Oh, but was it a cough syrup? Did you see what that? Did you see what the tequila was doing yesterday? Yeah. In a bottle, the tequila was like proper tequila color, like proper Omega color gold. Yeah. When they would pour it, it come out silver, bro. Like in a short glass, it was silver. I know we need Wait, to speak what? on this, it and it's not no. right. It was so strange. It and would that come happened out yesterday pale, bro. too. We ordered a focus. Okay, I think that tequila was fine. I don't know, mm. but like we ordered a focus in Rowena, Raymond's sister ordered a focus in, and like I took like four glasses and felt nothing. Mm. It's like I was drinking water mixed with something, and I feel like that's not right because. Really, alcohol is not that expensive in Chukubo. If you're going to get 200, 300% profit, you can. Just go and buy something legit. But then these guys Maybe literally... Maybe the problem is. Maybe the problem is with our suppliers. Yeah, I'm not with faking it. Yeah. Uh, DT. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> that's what the problem is. Because I haven't seen a bottle with a stopper in a while, man. Hey. You know those whistles that I yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah, seen yeah. one with a whistle in a while. And they're supposed to have those whistles. And they Just charge. Just so they so much. They charge so high. <laughs> I bet I'll be feeling for whoever is paying. But let me ask, aside from the obvious things like over the bottle is gold, but then when you pour it silver, what? how can someone else tell that this bottle is something I'm not that guy, it? bro. You can't really tell till you taste I'm and you're guy. like a few shots in and you're just the same like you came. You know, sometimes you can take like that one shot and you're like, woo. No, but literally the alcohol, it was working, but I could tell that it it just wasn't legit. Now bro. for me, the Hennessy that we had at Illusion, this is Illusion, but... Like, you first pay 20k entrance, then to get a table, you have to give another one, like, 150. Then you have to dress well, you know? Just have, and then you pay the 600 for Hennessy, and they give you fake Hennessy. But <laughs> to, to be fair, it would be <laughs> so much easier <laughs> to sell fake booze in a nightclub, bro. It's dark. Duncan's. It's just club lights flashing, no, bro. But that's not right. We've come to it's get unfair. drunk now. It's definitely yeah. unfair, man. Let them do better, be better. I know Corona has messed up, but, like... You know, people say that the government is corrupt, but I feel like Ugandans in general. It's, a, mm-hmm. it's our it's a systematic <laughs> it's yeah, disease. <laughs> we talked about corruption for like two hours in the last pod. Bruh. Yeah. Um, what do you guys want to start, man? Let's do some topics. Um, Laura had some topics here. Was it Laura's? Nice. I love when the guest brings the topics, man. Mm. Yeah. Let's start from where you want to start. Gives us a break. But on that bottle thing, man, I had that. Some of these guys, the moment you finish with the bottle, they quickly come and pick it up, the empty. They want it. Like they, want so they, want the <laughs> they want to re They want to refill. They are, pre- they they are pretending like empty. they are more, they are, they have good service. <laughs> 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 they are helping you clear. You take take it behind, bro. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. What's your first topic? Morita. Uh, <sighs> okay, so my first topic is one we actually have to talk about because I feel like it happened to me, yeah? So you know me, like, I was raised well. My mom did a really good job. My dad really did a good job. Like, I was in good schools. I went to Gaza six years. I was in Kampala parents from, like, P1 to P7. Gaza six years, then Makere. So, like, there's a certain level or standard that they set for me. So growing up... After my career, you know, it's time to get married or to find someone you like and, you know, be with them. So, originally, you know, there's this whole thing of don't date broke guys. Broke guys are not, you know, like how girls are towards broke guys. Like, they always want a guy with money. But when I look at my mom and my dad, they started small. Like, I'm their firstborn. They started really small. Right now, they're doing really well. But, like, they started small, you know, one two, one bedroom, Kazigo, something like that. Pit latching on the outside. So, I was like, this doesn't make sense. Like, if you're going to find someone that you love, you have to love them for who they are yeah. and not their money. Maybe you can find, like, potential. X. And then you're like, you know, base, that, base, base the relationship off of that. So I was like, I need to get out of this mentality of, oh, let me date a rich guy, you know, because even rich guys, they have their problems. 
<sighs> so I lowered my standards because for me that was like a no go. Like if you're not rich, if you can't provide for me the bare minimum, then I'm not going to date you. What is the bare? Yeah, minimum? what's the bare minimum? Bare minimum, bro. Let me tell you, you guys do not appreciate life. But bare minimum is like a place to stay, okay. which has That's all. Rent. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be okay, rent, but for me I was looking yeah, at someone who had already amenities. built okay, oh like his <laughs> own house. Okay. But anyway, rent is fine. Mm-hmm. But like where you're renting also matters. It could even be his mom's house or his dad's oh, no, house. No, no, I meant like provide provide for you a place to stay. Do you mean you have to live with him or of course, if you're you moving in into his house, okay. you're going to live with him, right? Oh, okay. So, oh, I hear. I'm so we can I'm like moving. we have to stay together, but we have to stay with like bare minimum. I'm like you have to have, you know, a, a bathroom. You have to have water. You have to have, <laughs> you know, different normal Wi-Fi. things that we take <laughs> yeah. for granted. Yeah. So that was me. Now I I met someone. Oh wait, that is was a staying thing. The only bare minimum. Um, of course you have to live well. Like you have to have if you're going to stay in the house, the whole day it has to be a. So I feel like that's bare minimum. Food, yeah. Yeah, food and all that. What stuff comes to the house? What else is bare minimum? Ah, I need a maid in the house, bro. A maid with <laughs> a <laughs> maid to, to come go for to the you house. every day. You mad? <laughs> mad. Okay. So that's bare minimum for me. Okay. So and also okay, a car because we need to get from here <laughs> to there. Okay. But it doesn't have to be like a Mercedes or what. Yeah. You don't have a kind of car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like let's move. Let me not always move on borders. Or if it's night time and I'm with you, let's not be that couple that's holding each other's waists on a border. Yeah. I'd rather <laughs> do that single. <laughs> but let me not be sounds like the bare minimum. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's minimum, bare minimum uh, to me, bro. I joined it. I'd started like moving away from my. Should I call it gold Standards. diggers? Yeah, okay. I that's said it lower. To be fair, that's not even gold digger. Yeah, bruh. But where do people say it is? You anyway. just want a dude with, with a house and yes. a car. Yeah, someone to shell, like the way my parents did, like, okay. you know. So, I was starting to get like that. I'm like, ha, I need to lower my standards a bit. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the universe, when you put it out there, the universe brings it back to you. Okay, at least for me. So I think it was 2020 before lockdown. Was that 2020? Yeah, yeah somewhere. Like that there. cut December before lockdown. Mm-hmm. So I went for a road trip to Mbara. And then after we were going to Fort. Fort is my hometown. I'm from Fort Porto. Nice. So I thought that was city. Well, that's cold as yeah, same here, Kubalora, I'd blah, 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 blah. I'd give anything blah. right now to be in that Fort. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> yeah, you guys should come to Fort. Mountains? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaninga and all that, the crater lakes. You guys should come. I'm going for my birthday, so mm-hmm. I'm inviting you in case you want to. I'll give you the budget and everything later. So, yeah, so I go to Fort Porto and I call a cousin of mine in Kampala and I'm like, hey, I need a plug. So, you guys know what I mean mm-hmm. by like a plug. I'm going to say it Understood. on camera. <laughs> so, That's I call okay. my cousin and I'm like, I need a plug. So, he gives <laughs> me the number. Of someone who could, you know, deliver for me. So when I call, <laughs> doesn't this guy come in a nice car? It was like a Noah, no, an Alfred, like this brand new Alfred, mm-hmm. looking like a dealer, you know, like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, bro. <laughs> I, I, I want to know. Yeah, you can yeah. 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 I want to know. <laughs> yeah, they already ticked one box of the bare minimum. Uh, like, uh, he has a whip. And then he has a job, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has a job. <laughs> he's, he's a busy boy. He's not redundant. Yes, yeah, so that's what I thought. Anyway. <laughs> 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 so we hit it off. Of course, he delivers for me. We hit it off in the mountains. It was nice. So we started dating. Like after two weeks, like he was really serious. Did, and you, stay, like, did you stay in Fort Porto? <sighs> okay, nice. So we started dating. No, okay, when I reached for Putin, I called him. Um, the people that I had gone with us on the bike, but this is my hometown and I haven't been here in a while. So I have a home there. So I think it would be okay if I stayed, like so I let the people that I was with to go to go back to Kampala after like the whole shebang. So that's when I call my cousin, blah blah blah. So this person comes and they're like, Oh, I'm also from this side. So we hit it off, like we had a really good time. New Year's. Yeah. So we started dating like after two weeks when I came back to Kampala. And now he was like being serious. You know, guys are not serious. Usually it's like a hit and run. Mm-hmm. 
but this one wasn't a hit and run like I'm not the type that's going to go back to the 90 day rule what I want to get it out of the way and see like mm. are you someone that would be with me even after everything has gone on so yeah, so he was being a nice person. What remember that car? There is nowhere in Kampala. Actually, there's even nowhere in Fort that we didn't go, and there's no in Kampala we didn't go. We had such that a that good Alfred. time. That mm. Alfred, eh? <laughs> it was white. Yeah, it's the white Alfred. <laughs> 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 Those things are comfy as hell, man. Like, if you want, you can even see. Automatic doors, what? Literally, you already know. Let me show you something real quick, bro. You have to come back. No, 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 press my ear. Olivia, you made a liar. I'm so dead, bro. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. The electric door always gets there, bro. What's a rich plate? Don't offend. Rich plate. I can't even bring me up. Let me do something for you, man. Why did you open now? In fact, close. Yeah, uh, close. <laughs> <laughs> close. <laughs> uh, okay, let me finish. Let me finish. Uh-huh. So yeah, so what was I? We start dating. So he tells me, "Oh, I have like um, I have a business in Fort, and I wear pigs somewhere." Mm. So now remember, we now now like at this time like COVID had hit, mm. and we're all scared and blah 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 lockdown what. So it's like I have this business. I'm like, Banangi, since COVID has come, I think they're going to lock us down, just like general um, pandemic policy. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Banangi, before they lock us down, let's go to Fort. We'll look after your business. Because me, I can't work if I'm locked down. So I'll need to find like another source of income. Everyone was trying to find another source of income. So I'm like, yeah, my boyfriend is yeah, a farmer. So I thought Banangi, <laughs> the farm was... Hmm? So I encouraged him. I told him, let's go to Fort Pocho. I'm from Fort. I have my place there. And I think you also have yours. So we can always, like, that's how I moved in mm-hmm. with him. So we were, like, literally, like we met, in, we met in December. They locked us down in like March. March. Yeah. Yeah. So we were, like, two months into the relationship. So he agrees. Then we go. And I get that road trip as nice in Alpha. It's like six. Don't you notice that? That's pretty smooth. That's pretty smooth, bro. So yeah. So we reach Banang. Love is blind. Mm -hmm. So apparently, this car was his mom's. So she was still driving it. Bro, as soon as reached, they took it. <laughs> okay, the we were going to say it. We were going to say it for us. The alpha. <laughs> 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 they took it. That sent it back. Okay. No, they were going to use it for some work in Fort Porto to transport. I think teachers from town to some vocational school, like far off a bit inside there in the, the mountain. For it was work, called what? Yeah. So they took it. Now, when we had reached, we entered the house. At first we parked, parked there. The house had no fence. I was like, okay. We enter. Like a house is small, banange. And it's a house, okay, it's a brick house. But like do you know the painting of nineteen oh oh like the walls were dirty. There were no tiles. There was no ceiling, bro. You could see the oh. mabati. Now that's may have okay. To each his own. There are some people who have lived like that, and I, I am not trying to put down anyone for living like that. Like we all have, but me now, me the way I was raised, eh? me I've never seen a home which has no ceiling, which has no tiles. We reach the bedroom. You know, you're holding hands, guy. You're entering. I tell uh. you, new lovers, what, what? Uh. There was no bed. We had to sleep on the floor like in his I'm grandmother's room. Was she there? No, she wasn't there. Oh, she was very sick, so they had taken her to Kampala. Okay. <sighs> so you were sli- you were sleeping on a mattress. Yeah, on the floor. Remember, there are no tiles. So like the next morning, I woke up and the whole bed is full of sand. Now, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is it's not like back. it's not yeah. like the uh, polished concrete. It's not like a no, good there's concrete. No, some concrete, Nyanga. But like it it's was like it's like over locally done. 
<laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh huh. So I'm still going. Now. Yo, firstly, I'm just so glad that we're getting like a free scenario. I was yeah. expecting it, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm literally clutching my seat like this story. Is. <laughs> I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, so a story like tense. for days. Every time I tell this story, it's just like, oh, it's brand new. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so okay, I'm like, okay, let's sleep down. We sleep down, but you know how you're in love. That really doesn't matter. So we slept down. Now, as we're sleeping down, of course, there is the network. But no, okay? There's in something as huge as a squirrel. But squirrel, squirrel, fall on the net. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> so I'm like, what's that? What time is this? <laughs> it can, only, it can only be one thing. Uh, it can only be one. Uh, thing. But uh, it was like, remember, rat. we've had like exactly. It, it had to be. It had to be a the cheap. rat okay. was huge, and now we could hear them like make like a whole choir. The it, remember, so. we have no ceiling. So he's like, hey, by the way, here we have rats. I'm like, Manange, yes, there are rats. But you know, this one is big. He's like, hmm, you think it's the only one? To look up in the ceiling, like on the, on the wood. Yeah. It. Zoos, zoos. Have you seen that meme of people who, like, of some chick was, like, holding her guy. And behind, there's a, co- there's a roach passing. Like, this guy, <laughs> she's ignoring it. I went to look for that meme. I sent it to you. And you ended it. Mad. <laughs> it was passing. I'm like, but the guy, chick is in love. That was me. Damn, damn. Did I see those rats in my mind? I just noticed it and just moved on. To Zimbe. So in your mind, this is like... Zimbe! 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 And this was just like month two. I have been in, I had been in that relationship for like a year and eight no, months. But, mm. no, but okay. Month two is sweet. Yeah, this is the month beginning. This is, is like the honeymoon yeah. phase, bro. Mm. Yeah. So yes, there's that. Then, now I'm like, okay... Uh, things happen the next day. As a woman in the house, you know, no matter how much money your mom has, she cooks for his m- for her man, right? Sometimes, and she cooks for you guys. So I don't mind cooking. You know, people are like, hey, eh, uh, girls are supposed to be in the kitchen. What? No, me actually don't mind cooking. Me as me. Like, I don't mind cooking, but I can't cook every day. But I can cook. So the next day, I'm like, hey, let me make for my man some breakfast. <laughs> you know what? We had to cook on my dear. Mm-hmm. My dear Banang. A charcoal stove. A charcoal stove. Firewood. <laughs> like a bonfire. Because <laughs> 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 a charcoal. Uh, yeah, like, like now a you can make it sound uh, fancy like, firewood, like that. Yes, that that thing they use. So for like, the a, like stones. Did you light it yourself? Like stones, and then you put sticks under. No, but because I was in love, that was my first lesson. <laughs> so you had to like fan it. So no, like some. So they had someone, okay, thank God they had a farmer who would help them with that digging and stuff. And so he helped us break down the wood and then he taught me how to cook on firewood. He's like, this is your life now. Yeah, and I was by the way very excited to do it. Really? Mm-hmm. So I did it. I learned how to cook on firewood. And then eventually I complained. I'm like, Banang, I don't think I can handle this. Let's buy coke gas. So he bought gas, but it got done. So I had to go back. Um, so that I told you about the pig farm. Mm-hmm. He had Bambi, like eight pigs, Bambi, Musaja, what? Uh, they are all in like no more, you know, these, what do they call them? They call them Bikoko. Okay. Um, it's like a traditional like style. Uh, yeah, a traditional style. Mm-hmm. So where you put like four pigs in each style, mm-hmm. there were like three of them. I even have these things on my Instagram. Hashtag building. So anyway, that was one of the problems. Then um we had two kids, Buyang kids, like his cousins and all that, who would help us like w- when the pigs poop, they clean what? But then now, after they were done cleaning, now you know how kids are. Now here, kids, like, there's a way where we are educated. What? There's a certain level of cleanliness you have. Even if you're going to work dirty like that, even if you're a kid, there's a way you clean yourself up. But now mm. these kids couldn't do that. They would come straight from the pigsty. They sit on the chairs. When I get the amount of UTIs that I got, only God knows. Ah, ah, from those chairs. That that's, that's a, a big UTI, bro. That's, that's insane. Uh huh. 
Now the flies used to bite like mosquitoes. I mean, when was the last time you saw? <laughs> That's a fact. When was the last and time the you saw flies. flies that have blue eyes? That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Flies bite. There's a, yeah, there's some flies, flies that bite, bro. There's some flies that Which bite. Flies are these? I don't know, bro. I think it's just like yeah, these flies super, ones with the blue super eyes. Super village flies. Bro. The co- <laughs> compound flies, man. You remember your, like, your compound science? Eyes. <laughs> compound <laughs> eyes. Those ones. I think they are big. What? Then there's even one time, remember we had no ceiling, so there were lizards, like also, li- firstly even f- uh, rats. rats, there were lizards. There's one time I was eating my camera well, when I get into a lizard falling in my food. Hmm. And remember you're in the village, you're hungry. You have to just keep so eating, yeah? Hmm. Just flung it out and kept eating. Okay. No, immunity. I didn't keep eating because <laughs> they told me that po- our lizards are poisonous. poisonous. Yeah, that's right. So uh, I had to just stay hungry. So now, this whole time, you're probably asking, what was my mom saying? Yeah. Hey, could my mom tell me I was in love, but I've grown. It's not like you're I'm young, where they like, read your books, watch. I've grown, yeah. so I'm in love. Mom be like, let me be. Mm-hmm. Mommy, I'm in Ford, but she was also happy that I was in Ford because we have property there. We have some land wrangles, so she was sure at least I'd be near to make sure that our property is okay. But now our property, for us, we are a car, wow. We don't have all those problems, but now this one. Meanwhile, uh, where is the house, like the family house in Fort? Like, why aren't you living there? Why are you living in the? Cause now you're dating. Love to Zimbabwe. <laughs> okay, no, do not. <laughs> I saw this one. <laughs> no, do not. Hold on. Finish the story. Finish the story. So okay, me, my house was. It's about eight kilometers from town. The other road. That's um, I think Bundibujo Road. Okay. Then his was, Chi, Chibale Road. Kanu- love that road. Kanungu Road. I love okay, that, that road, road of of yeah. Chibale Forest. Yeah, that's a wonderful yeah, that road. was his road. Has, that's only monkeys, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's a beaut- that's that be my, It even has butterflies, like on the road. Yeah, you're driving yeah. like with butterflies, like a little decoration. Like driving over them. Mm, yeah. They of course they when you're driving, they keep getting out of the way, but then they come back. So it's really gorgeous. I was there last year for my birthday. It's gorgeous. They told me that forest only goes like a few meters in, then there's like. A, a few meters. Or something. I don't know. I'm yeah, kilometers. But it's a whole forest. Like, even government protected and all that. Only that Wanange <laughs> has his place there. Yo, <laughs> in the middle of what license did he get? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> stay posted. <bro. laughs> yeah, stay posted. Yeah, you uh, yeah. yeah, hell yeah. No, but the name uh, is nice. I don't know. What's no, wrong? no, no. Uh, so, so, so you're saying uh, mm-hmm. your house is on this other road? Anyway, yeah, so me, my house is on the other side, but it's like, okay, so I was like, why don't I just stay with my boyfriend and all that? But I would go. There are times I would like set time and I go when things would become too much for me. So we're together. We're then they opened and I graduated. So I came back to Kampala. But by the time I came back to Kampala, bruh, I was fucking traumat- I was traumatized. Like, now, remember you love someone. Well, at this point, you still love him. Yeah, I still did, but like How I felt like he had put me through too much. The March lockdown, lockdown was it ended it was after like eight months. That thing was long. Bro. It was long. It ended towards the end. A of good the year. six. It was like a good six months or so. Six is short. So you spent the whole time there in Fort. Mm. So the what time did you leave Fort? Like end of twenty twenty. Towards the end, I guess maybe like September. I don't know. I graduated twenty twenty one. Grads are September, right? Like April there. That grad but April? I had left Cop before to make sure I do my clearance and all that. Okay. The 2021 grad was like Jan. Jan no, I'm just trying to figure out like the timeline for how long you endured. Mm. Yeah, I endured for like a year and uh, Living eight there. months. Yeah, but I'd come back for... Se- okay, there was a time, there was like the second year, I'd come back like every one month. So you'd go, you'd come back home and then go back to that yeah, place? Yeah, Bambi, I'd sit on the bus. I tried to pay my own transport. <laughs> okay. Did the Alpha never come back? No. Yeah. Okay, it came back... No, there's a V8 that came later on. Pardon. But that was V8. that was his work car. Like he got a job as a driver. Okay. So the family, like the person who, who employed him, was his family member. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> nah. You know, I feel like the Patreon <laughs> version should have the names, yeah. and then the ordinary version just won't have any <laughs> names. Like we'll bleep <laughs> out all the names. Yeah. Okay. So it came later. Anyway. So, um, what else was I going through? We had no toilet in the house. So, at night, you know, you'd be peeing. <laughs> if you don't put your bucket before you've slept, my dear. 
<laughs> a bucket for what? Wait, you have to keep Hold it on. near you. Mm. A bucket for what? To pee. I've been sure I died to pee at night. You'd have to pee in a bucket and mm. then pour it out in the morning. Mm. Because eh, he would say, you okay. can't go out at night because remember we had no fence and then he would be like, the Abba says he. He's like, do you hear these rats? These rats are human beings. They turn into <laughs> rats. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm serious. I'm not even joking. I feel like, oh my God. So you had human beings in the house. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you know I how rats are. Now these rats were huge. Eh? So they finished. had, they would have like literal conversation. <laughs> so if you'd be like, in the name of Jesus, shut up. They would shut up. Say swear. Bro, what do you want me to <laughs> say? <laughs> So yeah, nah. okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. even lying. Okay. Okay. But he was serious. Okay. Brother, he'd be serious. He's like, and I don't go out at night. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now that's when I found God. I started praying because I'm like, no, I like this guy. But he's not talking about this and this. And actually, what sealed that? Bambi, there's a time, okay, he lost his grandma eventually when we were there. She died. May her soul rest in peace. Um, so remember I love him so it was a really hard time for the both of us so the entire family came and the house is like it's small. Now we housed people Ho? yes, and there that. was a coffin in the sitting room the music was so loud it was bad okay he was going through a really hard time and I'm really sorry for that Bambi but like yeah so when they came there was this one villager who like brushed on him eh? and he got a panic attack from there and he's like that's the village witch come <laughs> 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 that's our neighbor <laughs> 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 he thinks his neighbor is a witch no the w- bro the neighbor is a witch like yeah. you don't eat oh. from their place you don't fuck with them okay you don't mess with them you don't uh, no you can cuss now Okay. okay. Yeah, five minutes are <laughs> you don't mess with them. You don't. You don't. You know what they tell you yeah. about, you, like how you're supposed to avoid a witch and all that. You're mm. not supposed to over show off. Now me who had an iPhone, man, I'd be scared to hold my iPhone. <laughs> I had to have bitutwa. Okay, the house had electricity at least. No, it had electricity. Okay. It had water. It had chairs, but the chairs were like a century old. Mm. Hmm. We would stay in the house with the workers. Mine was talking about the barrier. So like after the burial, the family was like, we need to have um, prayers, like to pray for the family and all that. So that's when I find out he tells me that there's a family curse that they don't, what guys in their family don't live past thirty five, and they have like mob graves. They are what? How old is he? <laughs> He's our age. Okay. So, so we find out that now like. Now, like, okay, these guys were like, witchcraft is actually real. And it has happened to us, and we have to keep praying against it. So, like, that's how I found God. I keep praying, like, all the time. So, these guys taught me how to pray. Anyway, they have neighbors who are just haters, bruh. Like, you know, there are some people who are haters. Like, they're not okay with you doing well. These guys were not already doing well, but they were doing better than most of their neighbors. Like, people have mud houses, you know, makeshift toilets and stuff like that. So he's like, so we pray against it. Then he tells me everything that's wrong with his family and all that. And to me, all that was so scary. But Bambi, I liked that but guy. But it was bonding you more. Yeah, you like I felt like I was there you. for him. And yeah. like, you know, when you love someone, it feels good. When you're there for someone, mm-hmm. it feels good. But I wish I had put that effort like in my mom or my sister or my father or something like that. Anyway, so yeah. Long story short, mm. I was also scared of witchcraft and basezi and cannibalism and all that. So when I came back to Kampala and told my mom and my grandma about the story, because my grandma is also in Kampala because she got a stroke, mm. but she's fine. Um, she was like, what? Please don't go back. Please, like, I know what goes on that side. Please don't go back. Did you leave any clothes of yours there? What? <laughs> Could I listen? At go every back. time, by the way, I'd be there. I'd be so sad. I'd be crying. I'm missing my baby. What? And he would be so insecure. Like, I was not even allowed to go out Hold or on, see my crying, friends. You'd be crying while you were in Kampala. Mm, I'd be like, I want to go back. So I'd come back. I, f- I see my family for like a week or even sometimes three days. And I go back. I remember I didn't even have a graduation party. Because like... I did celebrate with him. 
Yeah, and then also, okay, we had, it was COVID, but like I was like, mommy, if you could give me the money that you're going to make the party for, and I put it in pigs. <laughs> My mom was too sharp. She was like, no, if you don't know what a party, uh, thank you for the big wig. <laughs> you can go back to where you mm-hmm. So, yeah, that happens. And <sighs> I'm waiting for you to land. I can't wait for you to land. Yeah, like, because like, our, so all that said, what happened? What happened? What was the last I couldn't thing? go through it anymore. So I started coming back to Kampala more often and spending more time here. And then I'd go back eventually. What? But then the whole time that I was here, of course, you know, Kampala nightlife, me, I was free. I cheated. So when I cheated. You cheated with a dude who was the exact opposite of him. That I che- Yes, he was. He had his money. He was caring. Although he was a uh, hit and run, like I said. But it was better one night with him. Than the entire time I was Mad. with my boyfriend. But I even got quite jiga. <laughs> and it was another story. Wild. I know. Wild. It's so sad. Wild. I have like the casca here. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, it was really bad. Did they have to pull it out of the chikwanso? Mm, I tell you, it's that's, painful. That's I'd never too. experienced that. Like, anyway, kudos to my parents. You guys did your best. You inspire me. And I really want to work as hard as they did. Because they gave us the best life. So anyway, I cheated. And the way I cheated, because I was so desperate, Mm -hmm. I turned to... I turned to SW. (laughs) So I had like an OnlyFans page. Mm -hmm. So that I could be with him and not be like this gold digger type of girlfriend that's always asking for money. But remember, I was in the village. So even if I had my degree, there is no way that I could get a job. So like I was so desperate and I got into that. So SW, whatever it is, you guys will Google it. <laughs> but like, yeah. So he found out. How did he find out? Um, The person that I shot with one video put it out there in a group without my consent and he was secretly recording me and my face and all that. So one day I was crying. I'm like, Manange, our life is so bad. What are we going to do? Can't we find somewhere to rent? Can't we do this? Can't we do that? And he was like, no. And then later, later on he comes into the room and just like puts the phone in my face. Like, when did you start doing this? So I'm Hold like... Hold on. Hold on. So that... Okay. You know what? Finish. Then <laughs> I have a lot of questions. I have <laughs> questions about like the first scenario and now also about this. So, yeah. So when he does that, my tears go. I'm like, I start explaining myself. I tell him, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm willing to be the house girlfriend that you want me to be. But before that, I kept telling him, Mad, me, I can't be there. I have no job. Like, at least let me go to Kampala and I work. But every time I'd go to Kampala and I come to look for a job, by the government work on this now. We've really studied. We read our books. I was in Gaza for six years. But imagine I failed to get a job. That's not right. So I'd look for that job. I'd fail. So eventually I turned to that. And I'm not proud of it. I've stopped now. Because I feel like it was a relationship that got me to do that. But now that I'm back with my parents, I don't need money much. I just need to do my hair and my nails. And my parents can take care of that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, um, I'm like, I'm sorry. I really tried begging for forgiveness because I really loved him. And I felt like I did what I did because I was desperate. And I didn't want to be that type of girl that's always asking for money from that. But I wanted to have my own money. But I couldn't get a job that said, unless you're going to set up a bar. Of which... <sighs> That liquor is very cheap. Now here, you know, you can get your car Hennessy at 100. Bob, you said it's at 600 even if it's fake, you get. But there, it's like, people are like, nah, that may have 70 <laughs> Bob for the Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is what they have. <laughs> 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 so anyway, during that time, he had gotten a job. So we had the V8, like I told you. They would give him the car. He comes, he packs it. But he would be at work most of the time. So we'd enjoy it here. And that was a good side of the relationship. And then I also really liked the nature of Fort Porto. Like, I would go back any day. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, of course, to, to my ma- my mom's place. But I'd go back any day. In fact, I'm going back for my birthday. So, yeah, you guys are invited if you want to come. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, I begged for forgiveness. He refused to forgive me. I really begged. I really begged. Now, this time, I knew he had, like, remember the business? So, I was like, maybe if I give him money. For the pigs? For the, yeah, and the other farming that we used to do. We used to farm some illegals. Okay. So. Enough said. 
Yeah. <laughs> so it's like if I put in money in that, maybe he will like me. Like now I started begging for his attention. So I gave him money. I gave him like 1.2, I think. And I was supposed to get like 2 million out of it. And then of course, you know. But because I'd done what I'd done, up to today I've never seen the money. Um. So when I, anyway, when I gave it to him, he was staying with his friend at that time. Remember he had chased me because of all that. So his friend had moved in. Yeah, his friend had moved in from Kampala. To a one bedroom. <sighs> but it wasn't necessary. It was a three bedroom. It was a three bedroom that looked like a one bedroom. Like it was, was like was it like three rooms. Now you see like here, the way we are. Mm-hmm. It's cut into sitting room, kitchen, and three bedrooms. Mm. So yeah. Mm-hmm. So his friend moved in. Oh God. Anyway, the both of them conned me like that. But because I think I had sent them money, when I kept begging, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, he's like, okay, you come back. So I went back. Now, this time he was treating me so bad. Like, oh, he was treating me so bad. Remember, I'm already struggling. And he has my money. But he would go out to the bar, come back at 11. Like, the whole time I'd be crying. What? It was too much. So one time I fell sick because of stress and depression. I fell sick. Then I called my mom. I'm like, mommy, I'm sick. So fortunately, by God's grace, she was in town by that time. Mm. So she calls me. She's like, ah, I'm in town. You come and see me. We go to a hospital. When we went to the hospital, they checked me. I didn't have anything. I didn't have typhoid. I didn't have ulcers. I didn't have malaria. I didn't have a bacterial infection. I didn't have cramps. But like I was puking. I thought this was like during the times of Ebola, when Ebola had just come. I was puking blood and everything for real. But it wasn't Ebola. But like they checked everything and I didn't have anything. They even checked Ebola. I didn't have Ebola. So like the doctor is like, you're stressed. He's like, how long have you been stressed? Like this is not stress of one day, two days. This is stress of a long period of time. So how long have you been stressed? So I tell him. Of course, my mom knew what. Then he's so my mom was like, we, so the doctor was like, we don't know how to treat you. So my mom was like, I don't know. By God's grace, she she you know we are many kids, eh? so there's a way she knows how to treat us. So she just bought some medicine, some IV drips. I think it was ceftriaxone and some other IVs, glucose. What well, these common common things maybe to treat ulcers because I had symptoms of ulcers, but they checked and I didn't have. So that's how I healed. So after healing, okay, when she had told me I'm in town, but I don't get that, that speed at which I packed my bags, bruh, I packed everything. Eh? Remember, I was sick, but I packed in like a span of 15 minutes. I packed all my bags and I was like, I'm done. What these guys there? I love him, but I'm done. What? What these guys there? What it was um, your boyfriend and his Yeah, family? he was there. He, not his family, but him. No, I mean, were they there that day that you left? Yeah, I was there. So I was like, I coming back. I'm like, no. He would be so weird. Like he would be like, he has forgiven me. Then he acts different. And then we had reached a point where we like weren't talking all day unless it's like night time and it's time for him to collect. He's dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. He used to call it his debt. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call it. But you know, in a relationship, yeah, at night, you know what night time is for. My God, let me not say it. So that was the only time we would talk. But remember, I really liked him. So I would give in. What? <sighs> so anyway, when I fell sick, that was an eye opener for me. And I just had to put it in myself to get out of that relationship. So that brings me to my first topic. How to get out of a relationship. <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that my thing. <laughs> we took a, we took a that, scenic route to this topic, great, man. bro. Wow. I wanted to introduce it, but... I don't think we're doing any other topics, bro. That is the topic. How to get out of a relationship. Literally, like, I think the, the whole scenario that she just gave us is the topic. So I'll start from the, from the first one. Um, okay, I know you said that you were in love. Yeah. But, like, what exactly was this dude doing that was keeping you there? Because it seems like everything else sucked except for him. Yeah. So, like, what was... What was the hook? Like, where were you still Personally, there? he's a really good guy. He's nice. He's kind. He doesn't like to go out so much. So, like, you're sure he's not going to cheat on you. Like, Bambi, he loved me. Okay. He took care of me with the little that he had. He made sure that I was okay and I was smiling. He fed me. He was good to me. He was a friend to me. We had a lot in common. 
was handsome and tall and dark skin. <laughs> mm. And then also he was from my side of town, which is Fort Porto. So we had like a we had culture. Yeah, like and then we had great communication. He's really good at communicating how he feels. He has a great emotional IQ. In fact, I remember posting remember that the time that I cheated and I posted it, like there's this page for some chick you should tag her. She's my friend Bambi. She's called the real Ugandan girl on Instagram. So like I sent her like my dilemma. She has like those things. Like you know how Miss Motov has like those boo lives where she's like, yeah. So I sent her my dilemma. Bananga her followers abused me. Umbo poverty die. Witchcraft is real. The shepherds provide for you. What are you looking for? Her followers had me so like that was also part of my recovery. Why it's like being roasted by people. Yeah, but they <laughs> roasted <laughs> me. <laughs> I was just seeing the comments and I'm like, wow. No one's on your side. Yeah. Hmm, no one was on my side. They were like, please, you're not put yourself in that situation. But true love prevails. What about ah, that? Please. Okay. So I love your parents. Okay, and I understand that you liked him. Like you had, you liked him that much for those reasons. And those are very those are valid reasons to like someone. I, mm. I agree. Um so I guess now my next question is because I don't I can't even ask you why you cheated because it's fairly clear to me why you cheated. But I explained myself. But how did you find out that you cheated? I told you the person that I made the video with posted it in. Oh a no no wait. That's how. So that was the cheating the video. Yeah, it was the video. It wasn't even like oh I'm cheating because I want to cheat. I was cheating like for survival money. But such a big kampala bakuwa koko sente oshigele, like hmm. Okay. Okay, magic. Um, I have a question, but now this is back to the witchcraft. When he, the neighbor brushed against him, he said he had a panic attack. Yeah. What like was he doing? Was, was he like screaming? Like hyperventilating, sweating like so bad. I don't know if it was because his grandma died, but like that moment, mm. he wanted to faint. He had to lie down. We had to find him. And then he told me how he felt like after. And he's like, I know why this happened. Like, I know. Like, he knew it. Why she had brushed against him? Mm, it wasn't oh, that she was oh, Whether my mother had passed. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, that's crazy. I didn't know, like... It was hard to watch. Imagine. Okay. Let's get, let's get now into the SW shit. It's so interesting about calling it X- SW. I wasn't expecting to call it SW. Yeah, for those who don't know. Yeah, okay. Let's call it SW. Um, When was the first time... Why? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's like that's a tea that I want. That's a tea <laughs> that I want. The first time was when I was with him, of course. Okay. I was like really desperate. With so him, as in your boyfriend, or with the other dude? With him, the other dude was just someone. Okay, with your boyfriend. Like how you create content with someone. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so I was with him, and I was really, really desperate. Like you know how now OnlyFans had like popped off, sh- shut up. Like mm. Bad Bobby was making what I mean. This is the lockdown. No, this was actually after lockdown. Post lockdown, okay. Like, just after lockdown. So I was like, I feel like that's the only thing I If you'd like to listen to the full conversation, please consider subscribing to the Mob Jazz Podcast Patreon. Once you do, you'll have access to the full conversations as well as subscriber-only content. The Mob Jazz Podcast is made possible through our Patreons. If you like what we're doing here, please consider becoming one.